are you? I'm great. It, I'm oh, glad you're here. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for doing this. Yeah. This will be really helpful before next week. I recently booked an audition for this independent film. It's my first audition in a while. I'm going to have to win a lot of people over again, and it definitely comes down to putting in the work. I found somebody to work with me, a director, to go over my material for the audition. You can take a seat up here and I'll oh, great. Thank be you. over here. Let me take this off. It's warm. I know. Lights. Theater lights. Theater! Here we are in the theater. Here we are. <laughs> I love acting, and you know, it's just something that like you have to constantly exercise. It's like a muscle, you know. So, do you have a way though that you like to work on things, like that, that like to prepare for a role or something? Yeah, I mean, I like to obviously just get the bones down and try to figure out like what the impetus of the scene is, obviously, and who this person is, and then add in mannerisms and things like that. That. So you have a whole thing. You got a whole thing. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it takes a minute, but um, sure. that's why it's good to have somebody to kind of do it with, yeah. especially in the beginning, because like, I think it's going to be a bit of a, you know, I'm just getting back into it, so. So like, how are you feeling about getting back in? Is it like, oh, this feels sort of natural and I'm excited, or are you? Yeah, well, a little bit of both. I mean, I'm, I am excited. I think I need to find the right roles and the right niche for me when it comes to acting, you know? Right, so it's really more like you're kind of on the hunt for the kind of characters you want to play and sort of wherever they fall. Right. I like anything that's got like a little bit of weight to it. I love drama. I mean, it doesn't even matter, even if it's playing like a rich snob, like she's still a character that like I, I could have fun with, so. Totally. This role would be great for me if I actually get it because I feel like, you know, Ruth is somebody who in 1960s American society is being forced to put on this exterior, this mask. And, you know, like everybody can kind of relate to that. I did notice there's a line in here and then it says she's cheaply overdressed. I know. Which I kind of like. I know, she wears too much makeup and all of that is what I was gathering. I mean, I guess she, she is a prostitute, so she there's that. She is a prostitute. <laughs> Right, and then we get obviously this important thing, getting up defiant, though used to rejection. I mean, I think that's kind of the underlying thing about her character, you know, and probably the rejection she faces all the time. And being an outcast in society. Right, she always feels like she's not enough. Okay, great, so let's just run it. I'll be everybody else. What you doing here? I wanna put my money in a safe place and I hear you're giving out toasters to people who are opening new accounts. The bank doesn't take your kind of money. My money is green just like everyone else's. And I earned it the hard way. And who knows it better than you? Oh, and that must be because he's a customer. Yeah, I think he is. And I think she's uncomfortable until she sees him and then she has a more of a position of power. Do you know what I mean? Stephanie's helping me look into like the other ideas and facets of the character, which I might not necessarily see. It's exactly the kind of work that I would love to be doing. And I mean, if all the cards were right and fell into place, this could be like a total comeback. Should we do it again? I think we should. I think we're gonna just run it a couple of times, a million times even. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, a million times. Well, maybe I was really hurt by you, bro. Trying to make me look bad. Stephanie, get out of here.